भारत के इसेल रायभारियाव अलन उश्फीश बंगलूर के बंद वायुने नड़ीव एर् शो कण्तुमिकर जो बंगलूर इसेल रायभारी कचेर शीघ्रदे आरंभ भेटिया उद्देश्य भारत देहली मुंबई इसेल रायभारी कचेरी कचेर बूरी तेरह कर्नाटक इसेल राजतांत्रिक संबंध वृद्धि सहायक जो प्रवासोद्यम उत्तमगे विश्वास आलन व्यक्तपुर भारत के इसेल न रायभारिया अलोन उश्पिस नम जो बंगलूर के बंद बनी इसेल भारत बांधव्य बेहतर प्लान बेहतर Uh, first of all welcome to bangalore thank you very much so how is it to be in bangalore in karnataka it's it's always pleasure to be uh, in bangalore and it's always pleasure to be in karnataka and it's always a pleasure to be in the southern part of india this is the first time or um been? i've been to bangalore uh, that's the second time i've been to bangalore uh, it's my third time in karnataka i had a, a very uh, nice tour in uh, mysore a couple of a uh, couple of months ago but uh, this time is speci- uh, very special for me for two reasons mm. Uh, a uh, it's the air show, air show and it's always nice to be here uh, mm-hmm. uh, during the air show and the second time i mean the second reason is, is that uh, it's the first time for me uh, after we we established our uh, opened our uh, consulate general he, uh, here and that's tremendously important for us it is something we've invested a lot of energy into yeah i was uh, about to ask you about that that uh, now you are planning to start a consulate journal office here in bangalore this is the third one in india yes. so why bangalore in particular specific i have to tell you that uh, we didn't really have a debate hmm. <laughs> it it was a very short conversation hmm. uh, why hmm. i mean the, the, there was no actually a, a discussion on why it hmm. was very clear to us that bangalore is the place um and now let me explain why <laughs> um First of all, you have wonderful weather, and you have uh, uh, people of Karnataka are amazing, and you have wonderful uh, cuisine. But putting all of this aside, you see um, this relationship between Israel and India are uh, are uh, very special by nature because uh, um, first of all, there is a, a very special chemistry between uh, people, Indians and Israelis, and at the end of the day, uh, relations between nations and even relations between governments. are based on good relations between people. The second thing is that the, I think that the 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 magic uh, of uh, relations between India and Israel is the uh, the compatibility between what we need both of us and what we can do together. And in a way I think Bangalore is uh, is a is a microcosmos of all the things that we can do uh, do together. Um agriculture R&D, IT, BT, water, all of this lies here. The fact that as we speak, uh, the state of Israel has 10 defense uh, industries uh, showcasing their, uh, uh, their cutting edge technologies uh, about 30 minutes drive from, uh, from where we sit. Uh, and the fact that you, uh, you are a hub for uh, the hub uh for high tech in Israel, in india uh and the fact that you have some of the most sophisticated defense industries here but way beyond defense industries uh, i think gives a uh, a very uh, easy answer so as i said it, it it's not as if we've uh, convened uh, tens of people in israel and uh, scratched our uh, our brains and foreheads and wrinkled our uh, Uh, our face in order to find where we should do it it was very easy to reach the conclusion that that's uh, the right place that third one would be in bangalore so it was you're yes. sure of it yeah no, no doubt about <laughs> it and uh, i think that uh, if uh, if i have uh, if we had to to take a decision like this 5 minutes ago uh, once again a very uh, short discussion with a very identical uh, uh, resolution okay so the, how much hopeful are you about the tourism development through this that's that's a very good question um uh, and and it uh, it goes uh, hand in hand with what we've been trying to do in the last couple of years uh, uh, on the level on on the on the in the field of tourism between india and israel um let's begin with the with the figures um we have done both of us india and israel we have done very nicely when it comes to tourism um we have uh, around let's say in the year of 2012 around 90,000 people 
from Israel and India together uh, visiting each other. Um, and this is an increase in relative terms to 2011. And even in 2011, uh, we had around, I should say, 80,000. So the, the trajectory is a very positive one. Obviously, uh, the minute you open a consulate general and the minute you put uh, your, bet, your best people on the ground in, in Bangalore, uh, it should be also very measurable. So you need to see, we need to see, all of us, in the next couple of years, a rise in, in tourism, not only from, uh, from Karnataka, but, uh, but from the whole south of, of, of India. You need to see um, more uh, intensive interaction between private sector. Uh, you need to see uh, more activity on agriculture. You need to see uh, more uh, joint project when it comes to, to R&D. And this is exactly what, uh, what our Consulate General uh, uh, is doing here under the leadership of, uh, of the Consul General, Mr. Kanafi. Uh, one of the most promising things that, uh, that we are invested in, uh, in here is trying to, to create this platform for uh, research and development between uh, the chief scientist uh, of, the, of the state of Israel and uh, the government of Karnataka. Um, this is not uh, only about us being very help, help, uh, hopeful. This is also about us being 100% sure that uh, two years down the road, uh, the very nice achievements that we had in the, in the last uh, two decades between India and Israel are going to be beefed up dramatically and we'll see very nice things happening, further nice, additional nice things happening between uh, the State of Israel and, uh, and Karnataka. Okay, so it's uh, 20 plus years of a democratic relationship between Israel and India. Right. So how do you see the bond? Well, on the 29th of January, uh, this 29th of January, we've just celebrated the, uh, the 21st uh, 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 year of uh, full diplomatic relations. We share a lot of things. We are also different. Uh, but we also share a lot of things from, uh, from values and interests and challenges. The fact that both uh, governments in both countries uh, were always able to, uh, to define in a very uh, accurate way what, uh, what we should focus on. Um, let's start, for example, with trade. Uh, in 1992, when we established diplomatic relations, the, focus, the, fo the volume of trade was $180 million. In the year 2011, we have, for the first time, crossed uh, the line of $5 billion. Um, we have done amazing things together when it comes to, to agriculture. And uh, actually, we together, we, once again, government of Israel, government of Karnataka, are in the process of establishing a free census of excellence in agriculture, in mangoes, in, uh, uh, in uh, vegetables, in pomegranates. These centers of excellence are, uh, in the most simplistic terms, platforms that are designed to bring Israeli technology, agri-tech, to Karnataka. Uh, the people of Karnataka, the, the, your scientists, your, uh, your uh, specialists in agriculture are going to uh, modify it and, and adapt it to, uh, to the needs and conditions of the people of Karnataka, and then move this technology to the farmers. And the whole concept is designed to, to raise productivity because uh, we interact very intensively with, on a daily basis with, uh, with farmers all over India, including Karnataka. And I have to tell you that we are very much impressed with, uh, with the high level of uh, proficiency and uh, you know, hardworking people. All we can do is try and offer you, based on your needs, it's a demand-driven uh, uh, venture, uh, our technologies, and then you take these technologies and use them in order to get uh, a, a higher uh, level of productivity. So that's another thing. Um, on, uh, uh, in the field of water, we, um, because of the necessity of, of our uh, working environment or living conditions or however you'll call it, we have a certain level of expertise in water, whether it, uh, whether it relates to desalination, uh, and we are uh, investing a lot of uh, uh, sources into, uh, into desalinating water management and at the end of the day assuring that uh, we do not lose more than 10% of what we put into the pipes. Um, water security and not less important, uh, water uh, recycling and, uh, and uh, reusage of, uh, of sewage. Uh, from sewage back to agriculture in Israel, we 
we reuse between 75 to 80 percent of our sewage in agriculture. All these things uh, are fields that A, are existential, B, we have done very nicely in, and C, if we will meet five or ten years from now, I'm sure that we will have a conversation that uh, will be a scientific proof for the fact that we have not uh, watched idly the achievements that we had in the last two decades, but we can be very proud of what we're going to do five years from now. This is just a start, you say? It's not a start, but it's a very solid foundation. And in a way, it is a start, because I think we can do even, even more, be uh, much, much better than what we've done. Uh, but we, I think both governments, both people, Indians and Israelis, can be very proud of what uh, we have been able to do together in the last 20 years. Okay, lastly, you're part of uh, Aero India show. Right. So how is it to be? Well, first of all, it's very impressive. Uh, it's, it's, it is a showcase of the, of the best uh, um, aerospace uh, and defense uh, technology in the, in, in the world. It is done, I have to tell you, in the most uh, efficient and professional uh, way uh, one, can, uh, one can imagine. Um, on a more uh, personal note, I have to tell you that uh, as the Israeli ambassador to India, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a source of pride. Uh, for us to see what our uh, defense industries uh, bring here to the table. Um, you're speaking about the, what I believe are the, the best UAVs in the world, uh, intelligent systems, um, uh, command and control systems, um, radars. And last but not least, I mean, if you once again drive 30 minutes from here, uh, you'll be able to see with your own eyes the only operational effective uh, missile defense system. At the end of the day, each government has the responsibility to protect our citizens and these people that we enshrined with the, with the obligation to, uh, to provide the security to the citizens of Israel have done so in a, in a very uh, uh, impressive and, and effective way. Uh, in the last confrontation we had in the southern part of Israel, um, I should say about half of the population of Israel, some like four million people, were targeted by uh, 1,500 rockets and missiles. This system was proved to be very effective in shooting uh, these uh, rockets and missiles down. It's very difficult when you, go, when you walk and, and watch these things in, the, in a very clean working environment like you've, uh, you've established here uh, in, in Bangalore. Uh, one should not forget the fact that at the end of the day these things work and they save lives. Thank you so much for talking My pleasure. To us. Thank you very much for having me. And we hope that this bond, this relationship will build and stronger, stronger year by year. We totally share your hope on this and conviction. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. If it's true, Ihotina Sudhi, Nera Dita Nirantara Sudhi Gagi Nortari Suvarana News.